welcome back to our channel guys i'm tarun from technology update and this is the 2015 macbook pro so let's do a quick review on it first of all starting with the trackpad of this macbook pro apple has created a new force touch trackpad with this trackpad you are not actually clicking anything below the trackpad there is a taptic engine which creates a haptic click back at you which makes you feel like you are clicking to understand this you can go to a apple store or if you own one shut down the macbook and then click the trackpad and you will get it i really enjoyed clicking on this trackpad it's strange but yet satisfying it takes a little bit getting used to but once you do you can really tell the difference compared to last year model since it's software control you can adjust it from light to medium to form depending on your preference now design wise aside from the trackpad this model look exactly like last year model and there isn't any sacrifices like the 12 inch macbook it is equipped with a MagSafe 2 connection, 2 Thunderbolt, USB 3, a headphone jack and dual microphone on one side. And on the other side there is a HDXC card reader, a HDMI and a USB 3 port. The display is also the same but it is beautiful. Its size is 13.3 inches with a resolution of 2560 by 1600. The screen on MacBook Pro is half as on my 5K iMac. But yeah, it looks great as compared to other Windows laptop. Actually, it is a 2.5 gig display, half of 4K. It is having speaker on bottom side on both hands, which also work as airflow to throw the hot air outside. Moving on to what's inside this machine, it is rocking a Intel Core i5 clocked at 2.7 GHz, rubber boost up to 2.9 GHz, 8 GB of DDR3 memory at 1867 MHz, Intel Iris 6100 graphics. 256 GB of ultra flash storage. I run few tests on this machine. First one is the black magic disk speed test. And on it, it pumped out a speed of around 1200 Mbps read and 1300 Mbps write. So the ultra flash storage is fast enough to transfer the data. And the second test I run on this machine is the Geekman 3. To test the performance of the CPU and GPU, and on the Geekbench 3, it pumped out a score of 2,224 on single core, and on multi core, it pumped out a score of 4,735. From last year models, MacBook has given a bump in the graphics department, which is more helpful in video editing and After Effects. Now the next thing is the battery life. On this MacBook Pro, as if you are a normal user, like you watch videos or do some net browsing, you can expect a battery hour of 8 to 9 hours. But if you are a heavy user like me and use FCPX and After Effects, the battery will last around somewhere 5 to 6 hours after doing some heavy editing. Overall, the 4 touch trackpad is solid and completely new and fun thing to use. But I don't think it is necessary that you have to go out and sell your 2014 MacBook just for the touch trackpad. But yeah, this thing is totally a bang for the money. I would totally recommend this if you are into video editing and other stuff like this. Just in case if you need more power, there is a 15 inch model with i7 and dedicated graphic card with a bigger screen and more power under the hood. I hope you like this video and if you like this video, make sure to subscribe and leave a thumbs up on the like button. If you have any questions, drop a comment down below or hit me up on Twitter.